Well, good day to you. Faith Pocatello Daily here. It is February 3rd, 2022, and day 17 of the Being Challenging. Talks about, you know, trusting the God's Word. Not, And I like what he says. Um, he says that, you know, uh, that the God's Word is true, but not every interpretation of the Bible is true. And so in a world where truth is fluid, where people express, well, this is my truth, and what they're saying is this is my experience. Now, they're not necessarily saying this is truth. They're saying this is my experience. And so because of my experience, this is must how, be how things are. My interpretation of my experience now bears truth. Um, and, and that's not necessarily true. And, you know, two, two things can be competing for what is truth. They both can't be right. They can both be wrong. Um, but they both can't be right. And so we just look at this. And in 1 John 4, 1, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. 1 John 4, 1. And so we look at that and we go, okay, what do I know about? How do I study scripture? Um, so often um, we are... Um, hmm. Well, I don't want to call it lazy, but I'm going to call it lazy or apathetic or we don't understand the importance maybe of, of personal study of God's word that I need to take the time to read God's word. That's why I give you a yearly plan to read through the whole word of God. That's why I think it's important that we go to Bible study. But I also want to challenge you, as I did on Sunday morning, um, to, to look at how can I memorize scripture. So there's different ways to do it. Um, there's many Bible apps that will help you memorize scripture. And so you can kind of look up memorizing scripture on, uh, from the app store. Another way to do it that I found beneficial is to have postcards or, you know, are like index cards and you have a verse of the week and you write it, um, you know, you know, four or five times and then you place it in places where you'll know you'll be, you know, in the bathroom, um, on the mirror in the bathroom, on the refrigerator, on the dashboard of your car uh, and maybe at the cubicle of your office if you have one of those. And so every time you sit down or you look in the mirror, you go to the refrigerator, you read that verse first and that's your weekly verse. And then by the end of the week, you'll be very familiar with it. Now, this doesn't mean that you're going to be able to quote it word for word. Maybe you can, but it does mean that you're going to understand it and that you're going to have a more familiarity with it. And so by the end of a, a whole year, if you do that, you have 52 verses that are that you've memorized, basically. Um, I believe God wants to add more to that as you go. And so then we can know his name and we can test what people are saying. Um, again, uh, um, I believe that I try to do my best to share God's word, um, but you should look at it and go, hmm, you know, how, how did he come to that conclusion? Do I agree with that? I talk a lot. I'm not always going to be clear in how I explain things. And so uh, it's your job to go, well, what do you mean by this? Or what does God's words really say? And so I want to encourage you to really dive into God's word, be a student. And we see in the book of Acts that the, the, the people, the church in Berea, they were admonished because they were studiers of God's word. And that's what God has for you. That means you're studiers of Jesus. How wonderful is that? So may God richly bless your day. Enjoy Jesus. Go and share life.